Hi everyone. So in this video we're going to be working on finding the derivatives of natural logarithmic functions. What that pretty much means is we're going to find the derivatives of every single time you see an ln. Now the thing with ln is you have to know some basic rules. The first rule is any time you have ln a times b, you're able to separate these as ln a plus b. The reason is anytime you're multiplying you're going to end up adding. Another rule is ln a over b. Well, when you divide, that means you're actually going to subtract. For example, ln a minus ln b. Division means subtraction, multiplication means addition. And the last one, we consider the power rule, ln a squared. Anytime your exponent belongs to only the variable, this 2 is going to come to the front. So it's 2 ln a. So multiplication means addition, division means subtracting, and an exponent only to the actual variable will come to the front. Now in saying that, we also have to know the formula for logs and lns, I mean. And the formula to find the derivative is, you're going to consider this as the inside, because it's going to be inside parentheses. 1 over the inside, 1 over the inside, times the derivative of whatever the inside is. And that's how you pretty much do your basic derivative of an ln. 1 over the inside times the derivative of the inside. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do a couple examples. So let's say we had ln 5x. Well, when I see this problem, the first thing I'm going to do is, okay, well, I notice it's ln, so I'm going to first figure out what the inside is. And in this case, the inside is 5x. So to find this derivative, y prime is going to equal to 1 over the inside, which is 1 over 5x, times the derivative of the inside. And the derivative of the inside is just 5. So it's 1 over the inside times the derivative of the inside, which in this case is 5. Work this out, 5 over 5x, which just gives you 1 over x. So therefore, y prime is equal to 1 over x. And that will be your derivative. So let's do another example. So now sometimes you have to look for those rules that we went over in the, in the beginning. Any time that you can break them apart by adding, when they're being multiplied, when they're being divided, subtracted, if there's an exponent bringing it to the front, you want to go ahead and do that because it's going to make your life a lot easier. So if I notice y equals ln x cubed, well, I notice there's an exponent. And with an exponent, I want to take this to the front because I want to make this easier for myself. So I'm going to take it to the front and have 3 ln x. Now, this 3 is just a constant, so I'm just going to pull it out, knowing that I'm going to multiply it at the end. Well, what's the derivative of ln x? 1 over the inside, because remember, this is the inside in here, times the derivative of the inside, which the derivative of x is just 1. Multiply across, you get 3 over x. So that means y prime is equal to 3 over x. Okay, so if you're able to take an exponent to the front, you want to go ahead and do that. Well, what about if things get a little bit more complicated? What happens if now there's a fraction, meaning division? Well, I'll notice that this is division, and I notice it's a fraction, so I want to separate this. I want to break this up. Well, because it's division, I'm going to subtract. ln x minus ln parentheses x squared minus 1. I subtracted because the top and the bottom are being divided. My next part is I'm going to go ahead and actually find my derivative. Derivative of ln x is just 1 over x times the derivative of the inside, which just happens to be 1, so just 1 over x, minus the derivative of ln x squared minus 1 is 1 over the inside times the derivative of the inside, which would just be 2x. So then work it out, 1 over x. Now, even though this is your derivative, you may be asked to find the LCD. Well, you got to remember, to find the LCD, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply everything what the LCD is. So I'm going to multiply this over here and this over here. So I get x squared minus 1 minus 2x squared all over my fraction, my denominator, which was x parentheses x squared minus 1. Combine the tops, you get negative x squared minus 1 over x, x squared minus 1. And that right there is my derivative. So any time that you have a problem where you notice the fraction, you're going to end up subtracting them. Go ahead and subtract them. Then once you subtract them and you break them apart, 
1 over the inside, which in this case this is the inside, times the root of the inside, which was just 1, minus 1 over the inside, times the root of the inside, which is 2x, multiply across, so you get 1 over x minus 2x over x squared minus 1, then get an LCD, pretty much cross multiply. Multiply this over here, this over here, to get this equation, combine like terms, and put it over your LCD. And that's how you find that derivative. So you want to go ahead and break it up every single time. Then you're going to get to a problem like, like this. And you're going to be like, oh wow, they're making it more difficult. Not really. Same exact concept. See if you can break it up. Well, I notice that this first equation is being multiplied with this equation. So because it's being multiplied, that means I'm going to add it. ln x squared plus ln parentheses x minus 4 cubed. Then I'm going to go, well, can I break anything else up? Can I move anything? Well, I notice that there's an exponent. Exponent, bring them to the front. So this becomes 2 ln x plus 3 ln x minus 4. Now doing that, so you're making your life a lot easier because this 2 is a constant. How do you find the root of ln x? 2 times 1 over x times the root of the inside, which was just 1, plus 3 is a constant, 1 over the inside, which is x minus 4, times the root of x minus 4, which is just 1, which you could write, you know, but eventually you don't want to write that because you're just going to make it a little bit more tedious. So then work this out, 2 over x plus 3 over x minus 4, and that is your derivative, but sometimes they're going to ask you to find an LCD. So to find an LCD, multiply across this over here, this over here. 2x minus 8 plus 3x all over your LCD. x parentheses x minus 4, combine like terms. 5x minus 8 over x parentheses x minus 4. And that's what your derivative looks like. So when you can break it up, you want to go ahead and actually break it up. Because it was being multiplied, I added. But in the last problem, when it was being subtract, when it was being divided, I subtracted it. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully you, that, that helped you out and you learned a little bit. Thanks.